Hello and welcome to the Dress My Crafts channel. This is Tejal here today. I am very excited to do my first video on the Dress My Crafts YouTube channel. So today I am going to be talking about the newest release from Dress My Crafts which is the Teflon Bone Folders. Now before I jump into what the bone folders are and how do you use them and why they are so much better than your regular plastic uh, paper creases. Let me just talk about uh, how you get them. So this is a pack of four and each of whether you buy four or whether you buy one, you're going to get them in these amazing plastic envelopes which have a resealable edge. So and of course all of them will come with these binding holes. So you can, if you are collecting each of them, you can just put your bi ring binders uh, and just keep all of them together. Or when you are traveling, you can put them together with your other tools. So these will never get lost. Okay, so packaging aside, this is how you get the pack of four. So let's, let me just show all of them to you. So here you get a pencil bone folder this is the number four this is the number three bone folder and this is the number two bone folder you don't need to remember the numbers you just need to remember uh, how you use them so why do i really love the teflon bone folders much more than the conventional ones right away i can tell you this is this used to be my oldest bone folder and you can see the amount of staining it has and these stains just don't go away also with plastic bone folders if you can see the um, number of creases and the plastic has just got dented so much okay so these this is something that will never happen with your teflon bone folders they do not um, get stained Secondly, they are heat resistant. Secondly, any kind of glue will just peel right off it. So it makes them really, really durable, really long lasting. But if you want to buy just one, I would say buy the number one or the number two. But the best thing about the Dress My Craft bone folders is that they are one-fourth the price of the bone folders that were available in the market previously so you buy one or you can buy four at the same price so why would you not want all of them okay so let's get into the differences and how do you use a bone folder so a bone folder is basically for your scoring purposes, for your uh, book binding or your scrapbook making, for making your covers, for burnishing of course I really love them for burnishing. Now why I prefer them over your regular plastic ones. So this is a piece of black cardstock. Because I'm using black because black will show up every dent completely. So this is about 250 GSM cardstock. Now, I'll just take two of these. I'm using the regular bone folder, all right? So always fold towards the opposite side. Now when I burnish with this, can you see that shiny mark over here? Okay. Any time you do that with a plastic bone folder, you will get this plastic, uh, the sheen on the cardstock. Now the same thing when I do with my Teflon bone folder. And I fold and use this part. Nothing. You see that? There's literally no marks, no shine, no sheen, nothing. And with the Teflon, the more you use, the shinier the material will get and the more smoothly it will glide over your paper. So this is your basic uh, bone folder number two. Number one is slightly bigger than this. 
this is six inches the number one is six and a half inches okay um, yes so if you're a card maker if you just want to buy one buy this you can use this edge for scoring for making score marks also you can use these for the corners of your uh, scrapbooks when you're doing the cover uh, when you're using them there is a slight slant over here okay so your index finger rests on this and then you can burnish your folds that is the best way to use them now this is number three number three has a slight uh, slope over here and a rounded edge compared to the two it has a rounded edge so this can be used for your book binding for your scoring for your burnishing everything has the same purpose this is a little different than the three you can uh, see these edges this one is more sharper in its uh, bluntness about two inches of it the other end both have squared tapered ends so both can be used with your index finger to burnish your papers now this one is called a lifter because this edge is a bit flexible so when you have glued down a paper but it's glued down wrongly you want to lift it up you can use this edge to get into it and then pull the whole paper off and this being non-stick your red tape will not stick or even if it sticks it will just peel right off so that is why it's called a lifter basically for book binders but you can use this as well for your scrapbooking needs and this one the pencil one the pencil one is for uh, delicate papers when you're gluing them down when you're burnishing silk thin mulberry papers or extremely thin pattern paper if you ever try to burnish a thin paper using a hard edge quite often it will tear this round pencil uh, bone folder because it has no edges no the paper will not get caught into it and it will completely completely you will be able to burnish the whole paper easily without tearing also you can use this edge for your scoring it's a uh, easily you can use this to score okay and in a pinch in a pinch if you have only these tools and no other tool you can use these ends to shape your flowers of course nothing beats the dress my craft ball tools and the groove tools for making flowers but in a pinch if you have nothing else you can use these so now let me show you how you go about burnishing and all the other things that i spoke to you about so let's get into it so when you are making your hinges when you make your scrapbook so I'm scoring at an interval of half an inch okay then then over use your index finger and run it down the line then fold back to the next one use your index finger and run it back again fold it back run it back again and this is a thick paper thick I mean 250 GSM so it's pretty thick but you can see the amazing sharp creases you get with these burnishers I really love them so this is when you are making your hinges it, it just works it's just perfect and the second thing that I wanted to show you, you can use these, are for gluing down your red tape. When you are using red tape, I will show you the difference. 
between a burnished and a non-burnished um, tape and I cannot stress this enough that when you use red tape never forget to burnish alright so I've glued down the tapes and I'm going to burnish one of them and I'm not going to burnish the other when you use red tape you have to burnish them to make sure that the tape has stuck to the paper completely well maybe if I can zoom in and show you there you go so there's that little difference and now if I burnish you will see this also changing color you see that so again this is the burnished edge this is the non burnished edge once you do that once your tape is completely burnished you can be sure it's never coming off anytime soon okay so that is one of the uses of your uh, bone folder the next thing is when you're gluing a thin paper down now this is a really thin paper I think it's barely 100 GSM so when you use glue wet glue especially burnishing is very important otherwise your paper will what is that word puff up or it will have air pockets so let me just randomly glue it now once it is glued down I will take the side of this edge and slowly go from one edge to the outside edge so right now I'm removing all the air pockets in this and you can just wipe the glue off this so there you have it no air bubbles at all whatsoever this is one of the reasons why I really love the bone folders they make work so so easy now this is one of the main reasons why I love them is when you are making your um, covers for your scrapbooks this is where the main uh, com it comes into play I'll quickly just glue the edges and I'll show you how you can make sure you get a really good edge make sure to burnish them So once you glue this side down, turn over and burnish again with your bone folder to make sure it has adhered well. Okay, now with these you always go around. the edge of the cut board or the chipboard to make sure when you fold them in it gives you a really nice crisp edge use this end or any of the broader ones and slowly lift your paper gets you right up to the edge fold it over and then burnish on top of it and if you have a thicker paper you can see that yeah, 
this is another thing I love doing run the bone fold up so you have a nice clean edge okay yeah that then I'll go to the opposite two sides This is another part where I use them. When you have folded down one edge, this you need to fold it in. And this is where I use the edge this rounded edge to push it in so once you push it in and then you fold it over look at the clean edge you are getting over here yeah so that is why I really love using these for the especially for the scrap scrapbook covers and of course there is another fun use to it is with these ribbons I really love playing with these ribbons um, these are those plastic ribbons that you attach to uh, gifts making bows so you use your bone folder the edge of it yeah you can see it curling the more you do, the more it will curl. I don't know if you can see that curl. Yeah, no, you can see that. Now, if I keep on doing this, it will keep on curling more. You, these work on plastic ribbons, so make sure you get those plastic and not cloth ribbons. So that's a very very short introduction to introduction demo to these amazing bone folders that uh, you're getting from dress my craft of course there are a couple more the ergo and the angular bone folder as well as the ETBT mini bone folder which will be probably covered in the next couple of videos but so for now this is Tejal saying goodbye and I hope you really uh, really buy these tools because these are going to last you forever and your scrapbook making your especially your fun fold cards they will be a breeze to make so let me know if you have any questions any queries and I shall answer them as soon as I can so till then happy crafting and thank you for having me on dress my crafts see ya